Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys are all here today. Today I'm going to share a what I ate in a day kind of a vlog with you guys. Now this was during our holiday, like the Christmas break that the kids got from school, you know, holiday vacation that we get at the end of the years. And my sister had asked me to come and spend the night at her place. So we had a little get together and what we did was eat luscious food throughout the whole day. It was really fun and it was really relaxing, especially knowing that there's no school tomorrow and the kids are off. And, you know, it, it, it was very nice after a very long time because you guys know I don't get a lot of break from like work or I don't get a lot of breaks from the kitchen, I should say. <laughs> so this was a real nice treat that for once I didn't have to cook. My sisters did everything and it was just very, very fun, my so I thought I'd take you guys along with me and just show you guys all the yummy food that we ate throughout the day. So what we had was a nacho bar. These were all the toppings that were to go on top of the nachos. We had a few different kind of chips and we slow cooked the cheese in our crock pot slow cooker. As you guys can see how yummy, perfect the cheddar cheese looks. We had some chicken for the topping and we also had some dal chabal. You know, us desis, we have to have our desi food included <laughs> or we're never going to get full on this stuff, huh? So that's exactly what that was. Then over here, we had a yummy cheese platter. These were like the appetizers before we ate. Some fruit, crackers, and more toppings. the chips salsa beans lettuce tomatoes avocado and jalapeno peppers everything tasted so good and so amazing i like to have my cheese on a cracker and then have another piece of cracker on the other side and um, I eat it like a sandwich type and it tastes so good guys and here is my seven layer bean dip you guys must try this I've shared a recipe for this these are my mini samosas they have cheese and jalapeno peppers in them so they're like mini cheese samosas they're amazing I've shared that link with you guys before too I'll have all the links down in the description for you guys and I've shared a few um times i've shared this chicken recipe for like my tacos and um, it's the same kind of chicken that i would use for my chicken wraps and i've shared that recipe with you guys and i'll leave that recipe link down below for you guys don't forget to check it out friends don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying my video please leave me any suggestions and let me know um, in the comment box what you guys think about the video and it truly does mean a lot to me So after we had that yummy meal, we all just watched TV, talked, went to sleep and everything. The next morning, it was a bright, beautiful day. And I started it off with a big glass of lemon juice after my namaz. Then after that, we had a big desi breakfast. Very, very yummy. So I've shared this recipe with you guys for my booties before. Link will be right down below. We have some all-purpose flour salt and a little bit of oil just put everything in the KitchenAid mixer like I usually do at home and I was in charge of the breakfast <laughs> and then what I did was I made the pere laid them all out and the dough was really nice and soft and Swalik really wanted to help destroy the pere so he was helping out after I made all the pere, I let them sit for about 10 minutes so they can get nice and soft and I started making some halva. So this is sujika halva and I will leave the link down below. Please check out my recipe video on this I've shared with you guys. I think I've shared this two times or either I've shared a atta recipe, um, a atta halva, atta ki halva um, recipe with you guys and sujika halva. So do check them out. Once the puris were rolled out, they were fried in oil and just placed on a paper towel with all the other puris. My sister was helping me at this time 
she was helping um, bring them to me and I was frying them as you guys can see we had the um the uh, jenny from last night we had that leftover so we had that to go on the side some had coffee and some had tea and you guys can see my halva here i added a little bit of food coloring to it to give it a nice color even though it looks really really orangey red it tasted amazing so guys get my recipe try it out let me know what you guys think like I said, some had um, coffee, some had chai. We had the jenny to go with it. We had the halva to go with it. Booties tasted amazing. Um, I would love for you guys to give the recipe a try. And I'm sure your friends and family will love you for making them for them as well. Because they are so good. Our desi breakfasts are just the best. Anybody else agree with me? So this was, of course, my plate. Then after that, friends, put away breakfast, got everything cleaned up. And of course, in our house or in our family, you know, it's already time for lunch or dinner, right? So that was a very late breakfast. And um, since we had dinner so late, nobody really felt like having breakfast in the morning that early. So our breakfast was pretty late. It was like a brunch. So then this was our lunch and dinner together. So what we did is we started to prepare pizza. My cousin started grating the cheese. I started cutting all the toppings to go on top of the pizza. And I'm using my recipe. I've shared this with you guys as well in two, three of my videos. You guys can see how I do my arta or my flour in the KitchenAid mixer. You guys can see my chicken tikka, my tandoori chicken tikka pizza. I have a few recipe links and they will be down below. Thank you to all of you guys that always send me pics after you guys make them. Hope you guys will enjoy this time as well. And after we rolled it out, just added sauce, then cheese, and then all the toppings that go on top. This is the arta, and this is the kima that we made. Instead of making chicken, we added kima, and this was some chicken leftover from last night. So what I did was added this onto like a cheese pizza i added the chicken on for the kids because i thought they would enjoy this and the adults we voted on if we should make more chicken or have the ground beef kima everyone voted kima so that's what we stuck with and it was so so good homemade pizzas are just the best alhamdulillah anybody else agree <laughs> so as you guys can see these were mashallah massive big big pizzas so we made two of the big big ones one of the cheese and then one afterwards now doesn't that look good guys hearty homemade delicious nice deep dish pizzas after we cut it we all just had the nice dinner it was amazing we had cheesecake to go after it for dessert i don't know for some reason how i missed to snap that or record that for you guys but this was this was it we had a nice salad some drinks of course ranch to go on the side and hot sauce of the pizza and everything everything tasted alhamdulillah very very good i hope and i pray that you guys enjoyed your guys's vacation time and your guys's break with your friends and your family and your loved ones when i came home i was like oh my goodness back to work back to cleaning up back to getting everything organized because you know the kids have been home and everything's just been crazy got some new towels so you know it's always nice to get new towels in the house need to put these up in a way and start organizing Swalek really wanted to help me out right that day so um he was helping me make the beds and helping me make a mess i should say so i'll share this in another video with you guys and i hope that you guys did enjoy this video i'll have like a part two to go along with it of the cleaning one because we had a lot of that to do and i hope that you guys enjoy this friends please if you guys do let me know down below what you guys thought give me a thumbs up and share my videos and until next time i have a video coming up right after this take care and a laugh is